Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 86 rated second in form Marlos. So if you do want to go and pick this card up and try him out for yourself, you will have to pay anywhere between 10,500 to 100,000 coins on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And in 27 matches, you managed to get me 11 goals, which was a pretty decent return, especially for a right forward. So moving into Marlos's pros and cons now, the first pro I could find on this card was this guy's agility. Now this guy has 95 agility while it's also his key stat, so he's very very agile on the ball and this is probably the most noticeable thing you will tell, you know, just how quickly the guy, this guy um, it does perform skill moves, it's absolutely incredible and I think agility is the most important stat when it does come down to skilling and it's probably my favourite in-game stat on FIFA 18 um, just because you know it does determine how fast the players do perform the um, skill moves and how fast they do change direction. So moving on into the next pro was this guy's dribbling, this guy's dribbling is absolutely insane, um, it's on par with you know players like Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, his dribbling is that good, keeps it so close to his feet and this is really good when performing skill moves especially in tight areas and it makes him really hard to dispossess because you know he's using that agility to change direction really quickly and then he's also got the dribbling as well what means he can keep the ball really close to his body and then the final pro I got from this card was this guy's shooting now when I say shooting I just mean he's shooting in general you know his long shots is finishing all round this guy's shooting is absolutely insane I think he's got around 86 long shots as well and I did apply the um, I think it was dead eye chemistry to him so it improved his shooting even more so yeah this guy's shooting was absolutely insane now moving on to the cons the first con I could find with this card was his strength he only has 66 strength so this guy is going to get pushed off the ball um, quite a lot he is pretty small as well I think he's just under six foot maybe five foot nine five foot ten so he's not exactly the tallest so it does get pushed off the ball quite easily so that's one thing you do have to look out for and then the final con I could find with this card was his weak foot now this guy only has a three star weak foot so it is sort of usable but um, a four star weak foot would be much better in my opinion and he can finish on his um, weaker right foot on occasions but you know, like consistently I wouldn't really say is that good on his weaker right foot so we've got medium medium work rate so it's okay for a right forward he's got the five star skill moves and of course I've already said the three star weak foot so getting to this goal now we've got a really nice outside of the foot shot there from Marlos from the edge of the box just a really really nice finish with the outside of his foot there then in the next chance here we get it on the wing with Martial play into um, Marlos do a nice fake Rabona there to the V step do a nice ball roll to a fake Rabona to another V step and then finish it off at very nicely so this has been Marlos's highlights now let's get into the overview so now getting into second and form Marlos's overview as you can see a value for coins I'm going to give him a solid 9 out of 10 um, you know really really cheap player especially for the um, stats you are getting on the card he's going for around 40,000 coins at the moment and the reason he's going for that amount of coins is just because um, he does play in the Ukraine league and he's Ukrainian himself so you can't really link him up too much so I would recommend to use this guy as a super sub enjoyment wise I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 competitiveness wise I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 the reason it isn't a 9 out of 10 um, is just because that physicalness just let him down a little bit and then for skilling I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 and then the overall rating of a 9 out of 10 so this card is very very good um, very very cheap and it's very very enjoyable to use so I definitely recommend for you guys to go and try this card out if you haven't already so guys this is going to be the review if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time